Really cool exercise that I wanna show you guys. They're called the Gorilla Rows. I'm not sure where I saw these from. I did not invent these. But I remember seeing someone do something very similar and I'm like, these are awesome. And I've gotta get these out to the people who watch my videos because it's fun, it's safe for the low back if you do it right and you can really push the limits with the weight. And I'm gonna show you how to look at it when it comes to a back pain perspective, when it comes to training smarter, but also how to build strength, right? Get stronger, build muscles, whatever your goal might be. If you specifically are trying to find ways to strength train around back pain or for back pain relief, and you're not sure kind of how to program or set workouts up, go grab my free week of my band and body weight training system. Basically, it's a free seven day how I would train in a seven day period of time with band and body weight. You can always swap out the exercises for weights, um, but just look at how I train when it comes to working with clients who have chronic low back pain or post-surgery. You can grab that at fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash free week, band and body weight training system. It's yours absolutely free. Now let's jump into this specific exercise. So I call these the gorilla rows for a very specific reason because you're in this like gorilla type of position, right? You're in a very stable position when it comes to having your feet spread out. My feet are flat on the ground, but they're in enough distance to have my knees bent, my hips back. And I'm just in a very favorable position for people who have low back pain. Even though that I'm bent over, I'm not like this, where I'm bent over doing them like this, I'm down, I squat first, nothing changes here in my low back. So I'm here getting ready to do these rows and I'm in that favorable position for my low back. Now, when it comes to the weight, there's a few tips and tricks I like to do when it comes to navigating low back pain with these and why small tweaks could actually help you if you do have low back pain. I'll have my kettlebells not directly in the middle of me, but in a position where as I'm bending back and I'm hinging back, I'm ready to start rowing. Another thing is having them in a position where when I go to lift off, if they're too far out in front of me, I'm gonna fall forward. That's too much in the low back. Have them where you can come down and grab them and as you go weight bearing, they're not gonna be too much of a difference. Now, the second thing is, is once I go to lift, I'm gonna squeeze this, the opposite arm. So this, let's say I'm gonna row with this arm, I'm squeezing this arm, I'm creating stability. I'm through my entire arm, my lats, my shoulders, my back, my legs, everything. I'm squeezing this kettlebell as I'm rowing this one down, switch. The tension builds in now in this arm, my hips, my legs, and I'm gonna row this one down here. So I'm not doing a lot of rotation at all. Here, squeeze the opposite arm, build tension, row, nothing is shifting in my low back, my hips are not doing anything weird, row, just like this, okay? So the back pain tips for this is the tension is what's gonna help you. If you were to just kinda like pick them up like this and then uh, 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 try to do this, that's not what we're doing. We're not trying to do that. That's the specific way to hurt your back if you're not prepared for it, especially if you go heavy. If you leave one on the ground, focus that tension, build it here, hips, legs, everything's nice and tight. You can pull and row and everything stays consistent in that low back. The tension is consistent and that's what the low back favors, especially if you're kind of intolerant to flexion-based exercises or bent over rows or things like that, this gorilla row type of pulling exercise is great for this type of workout. I'll do it one more time. Build tension. You can go as heavy as you can. And have fun.